as the driver was waiting for a response, another car, see it there, pulled up. What the heck was that? This channel is about What is going on, folks and folk at the Rama? As I am Ty Smith, Modern Renaissance Man. Welcome to my channel, Modern Renaissance Man. If you are someone that's been following my channel for some time right now, double check to make sure that you are still subscribed to the channel. If you are fairly new to the channel and you're still filling it out, continue to fill around. I won't foul sexual harassment on you. I won't. Continue to fill around until you feel comfortable enough to subscribe, okay? So, uh, don't forget if you like videos like this, give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to check the link in the description down below where you can get things like the shirts the uncle tom hats the uncle tom cup etc etc shirts that says truth knows no color that's how i'm combating racism from both sides no matter what so anyway you guys just seen this video right here this right here shout out to um subscriber all things are possible who sent me this video right here and i wanted you guys to see it as well a driver pulled over near a business on a side street for running a stop sign driver was looking for his proof of insurance and texting his parents to try and find it. I want to say, I have, Dad, uh, I, got, I have been stopped by the police. Do you know where the most current insurance card is? As the driver was waiting for a response, another car, see it there, pulled up from the opposite direction. <laughs> Where are you, dude? Who are you? Base, I just been attacked. I just shots fired. Shots fired. The 28-year-old man, Edward Sayman, had nothing to do with the traffic stop. He gets out of the car and runs at the officer with a hatchet. The officer fired, shooting the suspect. Officers gave him first aid until paramedics arrived, but the suspect died at the hospital. The officer, a 22-year vet of the department, was not hurt, nor was the driver was pulled over the incident remains under investigation just to kind of show you the different things that police face on a daily basis now and you guys saw this this is just a simple traffic stop the person that was being pulled over did what they were supposed to do they were on the phone the officer could actually told him pretty much to kind of hang with the phone so there's serves no distraction so we can see his hands so we can pay attention but that was another different story right there i'm not even going to go into that right now for this other person to pull up in the car then come run at the police officer with a hatchet. That right there, ladies and gentlemen, is absolutely crazy. I mean, I don't know what this dude's problem was. I know what they're going to have to do. And if you don't know this, Naperville is like a very, very pretty much rich, high-end area up in the Chicago region. I mean, we first went over there. That's what actually inspired me to want to do better in life because we got taken on a ride through Naperville when I was in uh, high school. Uh, we had a track meet there at a place called Naperville and Wabasi. They're kind of near each other, whatever, like that. So anyway, we went there and we saw the way these people grass was so green and houses just immaculate looking. Everybody had like a Porsche or a Lexus or a Benz or a BMW, something of the sort. We were like, I'm did not we, but I got inspired. Like, I want to have a life like that. Seriously, I kid y'all not. That was like a life defining moment for me. That's why I wanted to do this story as well, because Naperville doesn't seem like be one of those places where something like this goes on. But at the same time, I would expect, <laughs> just saying, compared to Chicago, I would expect the story like this to come out of Naperville. You know what I mean? What am I saying this for? Naperville is the type of place where we would hear about somebody, seriously, like there was a murder, the husband hacked up the wife with a hatchet, or there was a murder, either or, the wife poisoned the husband. There's a murder, you know, while the husband was asleep, the wife just shoved the knife in his throat. I mean, I'm, I'm just saying, Naperville don't have the typical things like we did in Chi-Town, south side or something like that where you know pop, 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 pop. anyway this right here i want to just do this because i just want to show people how this is something that our heroes and not all of them are perfect not all of them are good but this is something that they face all the time weird things like this i will have to ask my brother from another mother brandon tatum i might have him do this video he might not even be interested in it but i just think this is something that's a little different from what you typically see I never heard of no one ran the police officer with a hatchet 
I mean, I don't know if he was thinking he was Gimli from Lord of the Rings or what, but uh, the officer took care of business. He handled it really well. I'm glad that we got the cameras here. One thing I'm going to have to find out once facts come out is, one, did this man already have a run-in with this particular officer? Because for him to just get out, come at this officer, then again, you heard the officer says, you heard the officer say, you like, who are you? Or something of this sort. And the dude still ran at him with it. So I do not know. That's just me theorizing. I'm also theorizing is my also, I'm also theorizing on the possibility that with the current conditions of how they're trying to get the media to push out this rhetoric for citizens to hate, um, uh, hate policemen, defund policemen. A lot of people are just feeling like they're just doing something special for the person that's being pulled over by trying to actually harm the cop. I've seen videos. See y'all, this is weird for me to slow down, but y'all might like it. I've seen videos where police are standing on a car like this, making their, you know, a traffic stop. Somebody zooms by and hit them because people seem like they're being so easily manipulate, manipulated to hate. I told you it's weird when I slow down. I'm trying. When I slow down, it's really weird. I feel like I don't flow white. See what I'm saying? Ah. It seems like people are too inadequate mentally to be able to process when they're being manipulated by media to hate a particular class of people, be it white, black, Hispanic, Asian, or people of certain titles, doctors, lawyers, celebrities, basketball players, police officers. People are easily manipulated by it, and it seems like they'll carry out the acts. Just like right now, why aren't we still talking about the fact that Kavanaugh had a hit on his head? From that suspect who was going to go there to kill him. Why aren't we talking about that? Why isn't there any more breaking news or updated news on that? So with this, I would like to know once they do this and they process the suspect to find out who he is. I would like to know what's his background. What's his reasoning for doing that? Did he have anything he had on his social media? Did he actually have a run in with this cop before? Crazy stuff could come out. Maybe he saw this cop possibly abuse somebody or do something wrong before. I don't know, but I would like to find out. So I don't want to put this bad rap on the police officer, though, but I do think that the police officer did a good job in handling himself. And uh, I'm glad he had the body cam on and he had the uh, dash cam on. Personally, I believe that people that are in public service, if we have a right to record them, I think that this just should be a thing where police officers, once they step out the car to do a traffic stop, et cetera, et cetera, I think that they should turn the dash cam on and turn on the body cam like that, too, because in a case like this, we're able to get it from multiple angles on this. So anyway, uh, shout out to the uh, subscriber that sent me this. Shout out to you guys who are trying to give me constructive criticism on slowing down my talking rate. But that's a Yamaka and me. And we talk really fast like that. Anyway, let me know what y'all think of this right here, folks. Leave it in the comments below this video. I want to say shout out to the police. Uh, I, I back the blue, plain and simple. I back every human being out there. But if you are an evil Human being, I don't back you. It's not the police officer title that makes them bad. It's the police officer themselves that makes them bad. It's that simple. Let me know what y'all think. Don't forget to double check to make sure that you are still subscribed to the channel. If this is your first time viewing, get an idea what this channel is about, okay? Get the video a thumbs up so it can be circulated within the algorithm of YouTube, all right? Appreciate it. I am Ty Smith, my Renaissance man, hoping and praying that every last one of you have food, shelter, and clothing, and most of all, I hope and pray for last one of you guys are in great health. God bless you all through Jesus. What's going on, everybody? So, hey, check this out. I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate you taking time out of your day to view these videos. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Give the video a thumbs up. And also, right here is where you can catch the next video, the latest video that I've done. But like right up here, this is stuff that I've done kind of in the past. So in this area, you might find a video that I've done in the past. It can be funny, it can be something serious. It does not matter. But this is something that you can also do to check out more material that I do in my channel because I do a lot in this channel, all right? So again, appreciate everything from you guys. Keep on watching it. Keep on supporting it. And God bless you all.